Hi alle zusammen! Today we're going to be doing a braid. Because braids were very popular uh, to do in the old Nordic times. Both in the Viking Age and the Iron Age, there is proof from old findings that braids were a holy thing to do. I'm going to braid my daughter's hair. We're gonna do a braid from this book. It's going to be a braid called Freies Drömmeflet, which means Freya's Dream Braid. It's a fairly easy braid to do. You have the bigger braid in the middle and then two small ones on the sides. So we're gonna do this braid on Gaia. So this is our hair model today. She has a wonderful hair. Uh, with a lot of different beautiful blonde colors in it. She has a Nordic fine hair, so it's thick, but not like super thick, but it's a very beautiful hair. So first of all, I'm just going to uh, brush it to make sure that there are no filtrations anywhere that could complicate me braiding it. So the next thing I do is that I'm going to use a moisturizing cream on her hair. So now the hair is brushed and nourished and uh, we're ready to do the braid. First of all, we take the top part of the hair. So we take the top part of the hair, like this. And this part we divide into two. And I'm going to take a little section from the outer part of the right section of hair. And I'm going to put that over into my left section of the hair. And I do the same thing for the left section. A little outer part and I pull that over into the right section of hair. So now you can see that the kind of braid this uh, creates. And I don't want to continue this for very long. I just want it to be about this long. Now I take a little rubber band and tighten the end of the hair with this. I'm just gonna pull this a little bit to make it a bit larger, like that. And try to make it look even on each side. Next part is 
the two small braids that are going to be on each side of the bigger braid. So I'm going to start over here on the left side and just take a small portion of hair and do a normal braid And when I get to the bottom, I just finish it off with another little rubber band. I'm going to repeat this on the other side. So we are done with the braiding, we just need to finish the three braids off with some yarn. I'm going to finish off with this copper colored yarn. I'm going to wrap it around the hair and I'm just uh, holding on to one end while I wrap it around the, uh, the hair and the black elastic that I don't want to be seen. And you can decide how much you want it to be wrapped around the hair. You can, you can do it a long way down or just a little as I'm doing right now. It's different how I do it from time to time. And then you just cut off the excess. So that's it. Friars Dream Braid is done and it is looking very, very nice.